What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the update for Diablo 4 we received. Of course, this is update 1.02. Uh, this is build number 42131. This is for all platforms. There was a lot of changes. This is why we want players to both feel uh, to be truly powerful. Some classes and build synergies are outside of our bounds. For what is reasonable for the health of the game. So reducing their effects. As an example, we generally want to avoid creating situations where players can survive unreasonable high amounts of damage for long periods of time because it's, it's too greatly uh, warps our vision for how combat should be in the game. Some skills and builds are not as effective as we would like, so pushing out some buffs to increase their strengths and some glyphs uh, currently providing too much player power, so they're reducing the overall effectiveness. An ideal, uh, an ideal uh, we have carried through the development will upload is that class balance is a journey, not a destination. We want class builds to be fun, powerful, and competitive with reason. Thank you for supporting us, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. So first of all, I talk about the Barbarian. The Barbarian skill changes, the damage reduced uh, gain from skill ranks reduced from 4% to 2%. Legendary aspect changes, uh, the Bold Chieftain's aspect cooldown reduction per nearby enemies from 2.7 to 5.4 seconds to one point. Uh, 0 seconds to 1.9 seconds. Maximum cooldown cool down reduction from 12 to 6 seconds. The aspect of dire whirlwind, they increase the critical strike chance per second, reduced from 5 to 10%, down to 3 uh, three to 8%, and the maximum critical strike chance bonus reduction from 20 to 40% to 9 to 24%. The Druid. For Pulverize, the Lucky Hit chance reduced from 33 to 25% and Lightning Storm damage increased from 32% to 40%. Uh, Grizzly Rage, the damage bonus increased 5, 10 to 15% to 6, 12, and 18%. Class Specialization. The Obsidian Slam kills required from bonuses increased from 10 to 20 and Calm Before the Storm Lucky Hit chance reduced from 15% to 10%. Passive changes, electric shock, damage bonus to increase from 5, 10, and 15% to 6, 12, and 18%. And for the legendary aspects, uh, the shockwave aspect, the damage reduced from 90 to 130% to 60 to 100%. And the crash stone aspect, the critical st uh, strike damage reduced from 40 to 50% to a, uh, now down just a little bit to 30 to 40%. And lightning dancers aspect, Flat damage increase from 5 to 6% or 0.5 to 0.6% to that 0.7 to 0.8%. Uh, for the Necromancer, the skill changes the Blood Lance damage increase from 67.5% to 80%. Army of the Dead, the damage increase went from 30% to 45%. And a cooldown reduction from 90 to 70 seconds. Uh, Blood Wave, the damage increase from 90% to 120%. For passive changes, the Shadow Blight damage increase from 20 to 22. Grim Harvest, uh, the essence gain was reduced from 3, 6, and 9 to 2, 4, and 6. And the critical strike chance reduced from uh, 0.5 to 1 to 1.5 to 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0.9 for serration. Also, Death's Defense maximum minion life lost and single damage instance reduced from 75, 60, and 45% to 60 45 and 30 percent class specializations uh, ray skeleton skeleton warrior attack damage is increased by 10 percent golem attack damage is increased by 10 percent the blood golem uh, life drain damage is increased from 40 to 90 and the blood golem life drain healing from enemies hit increased from four to five percent the iron golem slam damage is increased from 25 to 175 and the Iron Golem Shockwave damage was increased from 30 to 40. Uh, the Necro, uh, Necromancer Paragon, uh, Paragon board changes. Uh, Golem life and damage bonus increased from 30 to 40% uh, life. The Cult Leader damage bonus increased from 10 to 15. When it comes to the Rogue, the skill changes were the Twisting Blades. The Advanced Twisting Blade cooldown reduction per enemy hit is reduced from 0.25 to 0.1 seconds and the advanced twisting blade maximum cooldown reduction from 3 to 2 seconds. Rapid fire, the damage increase was from 24% now up to 30. 
Dark Shroud damage reduction per shadow gain from skill ranks reduced from 0.8 to 0.4 and dash they enhance the dash critical strike damage bonus from 20 to 15 percent and for caltrops the damage increase from 30 to 40 percent. When it comes to passive changes uh, concussive the critical strike chance reduced from 5, 10 and 15 percent to 4, 8 and 12 percent and for legendary effects changes the maximum minion life lost in a single damage instance reduced from 75 60 and 45 percent to 60 45 and 30 percent and for the sorcerer the skill changes the arc lash lucky hit chance reduced from 30 to 14 glint arc lash cooldown reduction from 0.25 to 0.15 seconds uh, teleport shimmering teleports damage reduction uh, duration reduced from 5 seconds to 3 seconds uh, the legendary effect changes aspect of control bonus damage reduced from 30% and 40% to a 25 and 35% uh, general miscellaneous class changes the druid companions and necrom uh, necromancer excuse me minions um, maximum damage over time taken per instance reduced from 2% to 1% of their maximum life and the rare nodes player attack speed nodes reduced by 50 percent on the paragon uh, board changes and when it comes to glyphs all glyph bonus uh, scaling has been reduced by 34 percent except for the following the critical strike damage glyph bonus reduced by 66 percent the vulnerable glyph bonus reduced by 66 percent the bonus to rare nodes reduced by 50 percent uh, the bonus to magic nodes reduced by 40% and glyph bonuses to cold fire lightning non-physical and physical nodes was reduced by 62.5% and some monster changes they significantly reduced the spawn rate of treasure goblins within the game there's been a lot of people out there farming the treasure goblins because you can find them in several locations I've not found that many myself but I know there's a lot of videos that they're talking about people farming these so they've kind of knocked down the spawn rate of the treasure goblin and for some bugs they fixed the a uh, name for the light uh, bearer mount the go to shop button for the wardrobe will now properly open the shop the fixed an issue if a sorcerer uses deep freeze and is affected by another effect that would freeze them it caused them to permanently be stunned and miscellaneous stability and crash fixes which hopefully hopefully will fix some of the issues that a lot of us were experiencing today when logging into the game but overall there's a lot of changes in a very quick time uh, and i think they're trying to stay on top of everything to make sure builds are as kind of performing as they intend whether it be something they're going to have to nerf or something they're going to have to buff to make some of these builds you know better or tone them down just a bit anyway guys leave me a comment your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace